It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Jimmy Fox. Okay. And that's the important thing that you guys need to realize right now because we've been telling you this for years and nobody believed us. Okay. So, first of all, before we get into the Joe Down, let's remember and talk about where Jimmy came from. Okay, because I feel like a lot of people need some context and some people, especially those in YouTube chat, are going to try and tell you that I didn't believe in Jimmy and that I thought Jimmy was the problem. And they're right. I did think Jimmy was the problem when J Jimmy made his uh, debut in the Overwatch League in 2020. He made some mistakes or was 2021. One of those two. He made some mistakes and there was some questionable plays. So we're going to go through them first and we're going to talk about them. And then we'll we'll sort of understand and get some context for who Jimmy is as a player. So this is Jimmy on the Chengdu Hunters. Back at me. Look, I was so young and innocent and full of life. Let's go. So against the Chengdu Hunters, sorry, against the Philadelphia Fusion, he's going to flank into the back line, which is a bold strategy from a rookie Widowmaker. He's on attack, let me remind you. Are you seriously going to go flank through their spawn right now? Are you really, instead of taking the good angle of like having the look on the cart, helping your team clear the cart, this is what you're going to go for. This better be the sickest thing that I've ever seen, Jimmy. This, if you're going to do this, you need to kill one at least. Oh. Oh. Somebody tell me that Jimmy is not the problem. <laughs> okay, and you go, well, that was pretty bad, right? You're like, that was pretty bad. Hey, people go for plays like that all the time, right? People go for that. Sometimes you got to risk it. That's the pine factor right there, right? Literally, one team fight later, overtime, Chengdu hunters are trying their best to get through. Take the high ground. What is wrong with the high ground? Sight. I'm gonna fucking lose it, dude. I'm actually gonna lose it. How do you think this goes, chat? No! Oh! No! Oh! No, 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 Somebody tell me that Jimmy was not the problem in this map. And I'm here to tell you, chat, Jimmy was the problem, okay? But he is now the solution. Because since that time, my chat has tried their darndest to tell me that Jimmy pops off, okay? Throughout that entirety of the season, he was not that great. He had some good moments, he had some good clips, and we watched them and we evaluated that Jimmy can fuck Thank from every much, now buddy. and then but it was very simple levels of fucking it wasn't you know big clips he wasn't that dominant force in the server he was still getting beaten out by the best widow makers but as time has gone on jimmy went back to contenders and now he's back on the guangzhou charge he benched that fraud of Prita last year the back half of last year is when we really saw jimmy coming into his own as the player that we wanted him to be and now jimmy do be fucking and that's the important thing so now we go into the Joe down. We're going up against Shy and Lee from the Hongzhou Spark, but I don't care. I don't care about those guys. We even have a stat card that they pulled up. All heroes per 10 minutes in the spring qualifiers so far in the Eastern region. Oh, sorry. Let me get rid of my face real quick so we can see Jimmy. Uh, the stats aren't looking as good for him compared to Shy. you know? Shy's a beast. We all know how good he is, but Shy plays on the Hongzhou Spark, this incredible team, and Jimmy, you know... He, he's, he's down every now and then. You know, he does, he can't fuck all the time. But I'm about to tell you, it's about to be Jova. It is. Jimmy's about to fuck, and I'm just giving you that precursor because I haven't seen this match in its entirety. I haven't seen the full level of fornication throughout the entire level, you know, this entire match. So we're here to watch it live, and you get my live reaction of Jimmy doing some fucking. I'm excited. I literally woke up on Sunday morning to like 
50 notifications. I had like four different like message requests of someone's like, you have to watch this VOD. I had the Guangzhou charge. Like I have a Guangzhou charge. Let me, let me tell you what I, I, I woke up to from the Guangzhou charge in my DMs. Guangzhou charge tweets at me, says, don't mind us. We're just doing our part, getting in your notifications about the game. Didn't give me any other context. I just woke up and the charge just DM'd me on Twitter. Just like, yo, notification gang, we out here. And I got that from everybody. So that's when we knew that, that the force had been shifted and the power of Jimmy came to be. He's taken over. He's gone rogue. He's just forced his way onto the team on the starting roster. All right. All right. Let's turn this up a little bit Get more because unlock the doors here. It, I've realized that the audio has been a little quiet for you guys in the past, but I would like you guys to be able to hear this. Leave showing the echo. All right, so what are we getting? We got uh, Diva coming up for both sides. We're actually seeing 20 as well. We haven't seen much 20 in the past where they were playing a lot of Gooshway, so I'm excited to see 20 play Diva because there was a lot of questions raised around, like, is 20 still good? He didn't play last year. I love that Avril is just on the Jimmy train as well. Oh, wow. Nice play. We've actually seen a bunch of teams playing this, like, Echo Mercy stuff because it's just so... So strong on this point. There's so many roofs that you can play over. Ooh. It's 20 is Elsa. Yeah, so 20 is Elsa. How does Piggy get two? That's wild. Leave eventually does get Jimmy. But, yeah, it, it's easy to forget how good... Oh, whoa. What happened to Lengsa? Lengsa lost leave, and they ended up on different sides. So, you know, first cap to charge. Piggy is him, yeah, and Piggy's glow up, you know, physically and in game has been awesome to see. Like Piggy's been a very strong tank so far, you know, and we knew he was very mechanically good, especially when you just watch him play off tanks. But his adaptation into the main tank role from bits and pieces has also been very good. The double support ultimate if we can also get this nano that'll be really huge. Shy with the first ultimate across both teams. Can we see a pulse? So one about to have his as well. Shy on the hunt for it is noted. The whip cap comes through. Looks for the stun. Not gonna have it though. Far away, able to jump out. It's a little bit of damage from the pulse. Dude, Shy leave is just so flexible. Good stick by Choice of One, and Choice of One's kind of not spoken about enough for this team. He's 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 like he's like a Swiss Army knife. He's just good old reliable, and he gives you anything you ever need from him. They eventually take out the carry Jimmy, but. Charge still has the point. Pulls out back. That's a good play by Piggy. If he just lives for long enough there, Anna's probably coming back soon. Ah, oh, the res is kind of bad. Not around. Here's a top five flex DPS. I'm not there yet. Oh, wow. That was pretty bad by Zonius. Um, I'm not there that he's a top five flex DPS in the league. We'll see. I want to see him, like, I want to see Choice of One in the big games against the best teams, right? You know what I mean? Like, this is one of them. Dude, Leave is just absolutely pounding, but they don't have enough damage to, like, clean up the point. <laughs> they just they just haven't been able to cap. That's a good bob by, uh, by Jimmy. Who's above him? All right, who do we think is above Choice of One on Flex DPS? Um, Kevster, Prophet. Zest, Stalker, Leave, Pelican. I'm not going to put Yaki above him. Sparkle. I would put Choi in like Yaki tier. I'd put, I'd put Choi in like Checkmate in Yaki tier right now. Oh yeah, proper. I didn't even say proper. Sparkle isn't, I don't think. Okay, I've I've slandered Sparkle in the past. I still put Sparkle in that list. And I think Sparkle has proven that time and time again. I feel like a lot of people don't give Sparkle enough respect, especially over the last couple of years. Like, I disrespected him two years ago. And I think during those two years, since I disrespected him, he has put my, uh, my concerns at rest. And I think he absolutely deserves to be considered a top tier flex uh, DPS. No way, be Prophet is better than Choi. What? You're talking about the GOAT. 
the goat. He kind of cooking. No, 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 chat. I don't, I don't want to hear this shit. Okay. Profit, Profit was fucking in the Overwatch League before, before Choice of One was even a concept. Ah, shit, I skipped. Um. He, he's the goat. Bob's will go ahead and finish them off. One for one, but down to support. Jimmy with the Bob here on the points. By the end of the season, you'll see the vision. Maybe at the end of the season. And here's the thing. Like, I, I was a big proponent of talking about Profit and like... I think Prophet is coming towards the back end of his career, right? But he already did that pounding in the Soul Infernal match. Maybe it will start slipping away, and I don't think Prophet is at the peak of his game right now. Like, he had that great match and stuff like that, but people forget how dominant Prophet was in the past, right? But if you're going to say Choice of One right now, if Choice of One's at his peak and Prophet's on the low, then Choice of One's a better flex DPS than uh, Prophet. Yeah, maybe by the end of the year, we could agree on that. But right now, ain't no way you're taking that away from him. Dude, that's actually crazy that the charge didn't lose that point once. Like, they literally just held it. And I'm actually... I, I'm going to say it. I don't like the Echo Mercy. I've seen people picking it. And I feel like it doesn't have as much success as just playing a hit scan. I think I prefer the hit scan. There's just... The fact that you have to play the Echo and you've got to pair it with the Mercy. If you played Echo with a Brig or, like, not the Echo Mercy pocket... Just the Echo, I would like it more. Yeah, I feel like the Mercy just dies. That's it, right? And the Echo has to get a ludicrous amount of value to justify it. Like, Leaf played well, and he got a bunch of final blows, and he got a lot of value, but didn't matter, right? At the end of the day, it just didn't matter because the rest of his team wasn't there to clean up. There's not much healing for the rest of his team because you're not playing a different you know, support like Brig. There's not as much support and enabling for the rest of the team, so... I have to get the uh, the AI translator out for that maybe a little bit later on. There's a lot of, I think, uh, camaraderie here between both teams given to how many Chengdu members are on both sides. Yeah. Chengdu's death created two extremely good Joe teams, so... I guess Jimmy had Shai's number. Jimmy didn't do too much fucking in the first round there. Uh, it, was, uh, it, it, was, it was fine. Like, Jimmy did his job. And I think when you're playing against an Echo Mercy, it's always going to be hard as an Ash. Take it back. <laughs> it was one round. Chat. Uh, chat. Jimmy didn't fuck that round. I will not hear that. Chat is like pulling their pitchforks. How fucking dare you say Jimmy didn't fuck? He dry humped a bit. Hey, you know, as we said, you know, he's just getting warmed up. A little bit of foreplay. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta warm into it. Far closer to the Hangzhou look that they've been dominating on so far. Jimmy here with the Hanzo. He's lubing up. Yeah, Jimmy was lubing up on the Ash. Uh, don't worry, now we're ready to do <laughs> Bro, there is no chance I make any money on this video. I'm going to get demonetized, like, in the first five minutes. But it'll be worth it to tell the story that needs to be told. Jimmy would have to play Tracer, which is not really part of his pool, sadly. So, wouldn't really work out with the charge. Sex coaching presented by Custer. Fuck me. Point contested by both sides. No one taking too much damage though, so no one severely at risk. Yeah, everyone's just kind of vibing. Shy is on the Sombra. I feel like they need to go. And I think this has been a consistent thing for a lot of teams. Like, they're playing this, like, Lucio, Kiriko, Sombra, yet they're just very slow to dive. And I think uh, Toronto Defiant did the same thing on Hollywood uh, just recently in their match. It's like, if you're playing Lucio, Kiriko, Sombra, you kind of need to go. Especially against an Anna Brig Hanzo. They're so defensible. They have the, like, high damage output. If you just don't go, you just lose. The problem is they have Elsa and can't play Winston. And so then if you're going to play, like, if you're going to play the Diva, then just play, like, a hit scan. I'd rather see Shy play the Ash or play the Hanzo or even play the Widowmaker for all I care, right? And then play Anna Brig with it, right? Play to your strengths. And play around the composition that you have in. Low on HP and 20. There it is. Xerneas gets on top of him, finds the kill, takes down that pile form. Diva, keep falling on the back end as well. Is that Angel? They get a decent amount of ult. Because, like, they, exactly they like that happens, right? They essentially just bleed out. Like, what? why are you playing a Lucio if you're not going to utilize the speed boost? Like, I'd rather see them play, like, Ana Kiriko if they're going to do this. Because you don't really need the speed boost. Kind of playing this fast paced composition. That just doesn't have the same level of safety as playing the supports Brigade. fucking yeah Zer you know and we talked about this heading into the season Xerneas and Farway are incredibly good oh, okay that Farway's dead um is a, is a good experience backline wow Shy just fucking dominate did someone just jump off the map it was uh, yeah it might have been Shy oh that is a bad rally when did that rally come out Farway dead 
Zonius gets pushed and pops the rally as Choice One dies. So a bit of a mistake there by Zonius, but that's a good dive by Spark. Like that's, if you are going to play the Sombra Kiriko shit, that's how you need to play. You literally just need to go. Like you show up and you just dive. Oh God, nice stick by Leave. Given how long they delayed, now they're down their Hanzo. I don't mind that necessarily because the Nano is also invested. Yeah, I mean, Charge clearly want to engage here. They, they wanted to turn the fighter on. They have the ultimate to play through, but a brilliant stick from Lee. Super slick. Fancy feet in the moves, dancing around. Fancy here. feet in the moves. I like that line. Forfeit the Nano. It's a pulse for Nano trait. I think that's a positive trait for The well run is absolutely crazy. Spoilers! Who wins this round? Chad, I haven't seen this one! That's okay. I'm excited. I'm excited for this match. People have, have such hyped up things. Oh, good EMP. And I think you've seen a lot of teams starting to do this of like trying to EMP the brig or the backline is sometimes a bait, especially if they're playing far away. If you see that Winston jump in, EMP him, kill him. Yeah, if, you can, if you're sure you can kill him before he pops that primal, even if he does pop that primal, he's going to take so much damage as soon as the primal gets popped that there's value there, right? And they chase further, probably not given that Piggy has respawned. But how quickly did Piggy die, by the way? It looked like he went from 500 HP to zero in a second. Jimmy Tracer? There's no way Jimmy plays Tracer. If Jimmy plays Tracer and fucks, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know what to do with my life. I feel like I'm being lied to in this. Thoughts on Piggy? I think Piggy's like, I think there was a lot of legitimate concerns about Piggy for this team going into the season. But I think Piggy has put those concerns to rest. I think Piggy's been playing incredibly well. You know, he's he's currently one of the better players who is being the sole tank for an Overwatch League team, right? I'd probably put him on the same scale as like Dante right now, where it's like he plays very well. He makes some mistakes and you can see his inexperience from time to time, but he's doing his job and that's what you need him to do. Wow, these dives have been very good. Yeah, they, Spark, Spark have made this comp look really good on the dive. And I don't want to say anything, but Jimmy didn't really get any value on the Hanzo. Like, he didn't really get much value. It felt like the charge just kind of fell over to the high execution of the dives. I mean, once Hangzhou actually get into the tempo where they get to set the tone... Heresy! Oh, what chat! What do you want from me? Did you, How many kills did Jimmy get in that round? Okay? And this is, this, is, this is what happens every time. If you're a new person coming into this channel, and you're like, Jimmy... Uh, what, what is this thing about Jimmy? Every time Jimmy chat comes into me and they're like, Jimmy fucks. And then I never know if he actually fucks. And every time I talk about Jimmy not potentially fucking, like he hasn't so far in this match, then it happens, right? J where, 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 how many kills did Jimmy get in that round? All right, chat, we're, we're going to talk about this. Jimmy got like one kill. No kills, no kills. We might skip over one, obviously, if the timing's weird, but I'm not going to look into this too much. Jimmy Dyer got stuck. Piggy dead. Jimmy Dragon got eaten. Jimmy dead to leave. Jimmy dead to leave. Jimmy didn't get a kill. J chat, you know... Sometimes it's important to understand, and so when he actually fucks, that we provide important context that it actually happened, okay? You know, you can't be doing it all the time. Fuck you, Gus. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. Four play, four play, yeah, that's it. We're still in four play mode, okay? But I, that, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be disingenuous to the, the fans and to the people who want to see Jimmy fuck. You can't just yell into the void when the man didn't get a final blow. Trust me, we're just warming up. We're just warming into it. No real engage tools. You lost your dragon strike a little bit earlier. I don't think. Yeah, understand pacing there. exactly, exactly. You don't want to start at a hundred. Get that primal out from Piggy. Then because the fat fingers do Jimmy fat fingers zero. What? <laughs> Wait, I feel like that's neither here nor there. All right, Gongjo Charge are going to come out with choice of one on the Echo. The the Swiss Army knife coming out. Jimmy on the tracer. There's no way. I'm getting Jim tracer. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm 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 ready to be impressed. Oh, he accidentally hacked the translocator. They broke it. Oh, got him. Oh, what now? Nice play. Great play by the charge. Good communication by Choice One and the rest of the team. Good play. 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 Good play.
three rounds in a row, starting things off in control. Well, I was, uh, it took up a Hongjo spark a long time to dive there. I think they were looking for, like, to get the setup, and the whole strategy was built around Shia go going for a hack. Lee goes over to the Echo, put Lynx Lynxa back onto the Mercy. I'm not in love with it, like, still. I, I mean, like, Leave has to dominate choice of one in this matchup. Otherwise, it's not worth playing this Echo Mercy. Jimmy kill, by the way. <laughs> one kill for Jimmy. Okay, good dive, Jimmy. Keep it up. Yo, Jimmy versus Shy on the Tracer. Wow, Pinky gets Monk. How does Pinky kill Monk almost alone? He does get traded back for Xerneas. Oh, Shy just dominated the back line. Don't worry, Jimmy's still alive. Okay. Okay. Jimmy, get out of there! Jimmy, get out of there! Okay. Oh, yeah, it's fine. You know, you gotta give Lee one. Okay, you gotta give him his one. Uh, yeah, he was just stalling, slowing things down. You can't, you can't put that on Jimmy. Can't put that on Jimmy. Diff? Nah, that wasn't a diff. That wasn't a diff. It, that was uh, that was tactical by Jimmy. You guys just don't get it, okay? Only people who are 3,500 and high. Oh god, <laughs> my Swiss Army knife is dead. But he can't. He's 80% to rally, so he's he's just. Ah, it's so hard to play Echo and Echo Mercy and against an Anna. I wonder if Choice One will switch. He's got the lead on the point, but it does feel like the comp is missing a couple of pieces. Notably, the Mercy. All right, now Jimmy's got a pulse bomb and a dream. The J, the I, the M, the M, the Y. It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Nano choice of one. Jimmy Pulse Bomb goes astray. It goes astray. Astray. Classic. All right. Piggy's doing a good job right now. Jimmy gets the mech. Nice play by the charge. Really playing this slow. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not in love with his mercy. I feel like they're not getting enough value. Like, the reason the charge lost that... Uh, sorry, the spark lost that is because they just didn't have the brick healing for the uh, Tracer Diff. Uh, they didn't have the healing for the Diva. Like, in the same way that the charge do. Like, Spark, I have to put so many eggs in the lead basket, and it just doesn't seem necessary. Tracer Diff, Tracer Diff, there's one. Shy, who am I right? He hasn't got an opening pick yet. You know? It's a little bit different. And as Xerneas, you know, still alive, unable to swap towards the Mercy, I think Choi just knows you can't really play Echo here anymore. Oh, they have a brig now. Don't worry, chat. We, we solved the problem. Oh, God. That, it, copying brig's actually probably pretty good. You get three packs. Oh, Lengsa dies to Piggy? How is Piggy finding these picks onto supports? Is he a bomb? Oh, my God. That's really bad for them. Oh, no remake. Xerneas with another, like, selfish rally. It can work, though. This can be a good play. Nano Jimmy. Far away. Do it. No, 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 no. Nano Jimmy. Oh, he's dead. He didn't nano anyone. Wait, he did nano. Oh, it's on Xerneas. It's fine. Dude, Xerneas has more final blows than Jimmy right now. Jimmy! Kill that fraud! Kill the fraud! Oh, he, wait, he killed the baby Wait, what? When did he kill a baby diva? Oh, okay, he killed a baby <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's fighting two fronts. He's, he's just so smart he can fight on two fronts. He, he's not even he's not even care about Shai. There, there probably wasn't an accident. There's no way that was an accident. Jimmy's got two cocks. Dive on the leap. Jimmy do is kind of running circles around the... <clears throat> he's kind, kind of running circles around them right now. about as good as dead here. We're talking about a diva. Gonna try to get himself back through. Zoning Pulse? Yeah, they couldn't step up because of that. Oh, Zoning's got booped in by Langsa. Oh, 
flip this back in. It's 99% to 89. Hangzhou Spark. Letting this dwindle. Far away on Lucio, thing of legends. Lucio Brig, baby. Let's go. EMP's going to be huge, EMP. Lynx is going to get a beat, though. Farway's getting up to a beat as well, I guess. That's a good beat. Oh, Piggy, don't get close to the edge. Rally from Xerneas should be huge. Oh my god, how does Monk kill choice of one? Oh no! Oh no! Jimmy? 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 Wait, how did how did the charge win this? What a turn remember the that was a crazy turnabout by the spark. It's because Lynx just stole the point away while Charge were off trying to chase kills. And just off the back of that one flip, Spark stay alive and those double 99. He's got bomb. He gets bomb off though. Shy dies. I don't know how Shy dies there. Shy's had a couple of early deaths. Good beat. Fuck that wall. Come on, Charge! Responsibility here on Monk trying to keep them in this fight as the flip gets ready to come back through. Long Joe charge once again in control. Uh, Alright, Charger in control again though. They had they had the ultimates. Oh, 20 goes into the pit. Dude, what is this fight right now? Dude, Elio as well has some of the best fights ever. Like and that could be the turning point that could be the final nail in the coffin oh they get shy dude these hacks on the shy have been so good oh emp is a problem jimmy cleans up jimmy is definitely one of the traces of all time he is definitely one of the traces of all time let's go baby that, that was uh that was a close one jimmy 1v5 i saw it i saw it chat i i absolutely saw it I'm I'm not gonna lie though. I'm hoping that we get some better looks in the future maps. He fucks later. Hey, yeah, you know, I chat. I believe in you. I believe. I believe you. Alright. Jimmy D tier tracer. His tracer is now in his strong suit. But hey, you know, we all start somewhere. You know. Just like Sparkle, you know, you got to start somewhere. Jimmy, it was fine. It was it was fine, Tracer. He he was he was applying so much pressure that Cheyenne Leaf didn't know what to do. All four play, all four play. Jamie on the Hanzo. This is this is the Jimmy special. Like Jimmy Jimmy's Hanzo, disgusting. Jimmy, the thing, you shy you shy's about to get fucking world starred on this Sombra. He's gonna peek his head. Jimmy, we'll see it coming. Scout out send a, a couple straight arrows in case he gets a random headshot here and takes down shy. Not gonna be quite as lucky, but oh, that was close. Away. Gets jumped on. Jimmy tries to go to the rescue. Leaves also gonna be able to swoop in from behind. Comes up with the elimination. Leaves. All right, you know, yeah. Uh, uh, first fight, first fight. Now we know what composition we can make si uh, switches if we need to. From Jimmy's POV, he was looking over towards the side. He got. Where's the peel? Jimmy didn't get a single heal. Okay, far away, Xerneas. Let's let, let's focus up next time. Okay, let's uh, let's just let's just get some heals going. It's fine. It's fine. You know. They needed to trade straight away. Couldn't do so. Spark will be. Same sucks. That's what I'm saying, right? Start now on this defense. The difference of having Gushway in on the Winston. I mean, this is, I would say, the real Spark. Jimmy's looking for ghosts. A three-pronged attack in Gushway. Be one of those prongs starting off the second fight. Yeah, because they're taken down. Jimmy forced back. Let's get him actually. Oh, gets leave. leave. That's a good pick. A little fadeaway pick. We'll see if we can find more off the back of this one. Because Gushway is going to be zoned back through the archway. Big damn. Out by far away. His return. Because they want. He's going to be the first to pulse online. See how much value he can get as the first tick gets ready to be snatched up here from the side of the Guangzhou charge. All right, we're getting we're getting ticks up. We're getting ticks up. All right, all right. Sony's getting low. He's getting getting low. It's fine. Hey, it's fine. Reset. Jimmy gets monk. Okay. The logged. Wait, Jimmy's in the front line. <laughs> Jimmy's just hanging out of the archway. All right, clean play. Clean play. Gushu dives super deep as well. To be fair, he locked out both the supports of Farway and Xerneas, but for his own team, they couldn't stay alive. <sighs> but both Monk and Lynx are Jimmy's down. a giga so chad, yeah, dude. True. True. Hey, okay, Jimmy, it's time to come alive, okay? Time to take the training weights off. Trying to. I, I understand you wanted to give Hongzhou a chance. You know, keep Shy and Leave a little bit satisfied with their gameplay, but it's it's time to it's time to put the foot down, okay? 
they held on to their ultimate, so it's a cap. Piggy do it, yeah. Piggy... <laughs> Honestly, so far throughout this entire series, Jimmy has existed while Piggy just goes fucking sicko mode. Like, on the D.Va and the Winston, Piggy's just doing whatever he wants. It's probably because of all the enormous amounts of space that Jimmy is providing, but Piggy has been the one doing the fucking so far. Jimmy twice now, I believe, has sniped out Lee, which is just a huge boom for the charge. Zonia, so yeah, like the backline's doing well, right? Like whenever your tank is doing well, your backline's probably doing well, right? Like those things go pretty hand in hand. Oh god. Choice one gets Lengsa as well. EMP? Did that? Was that a memp? Oh no, I think it might have hit Piggy. So they rallied to kill Piggy. This charge team is an anomaly? No, I disagree. I think people didn't give this charge team enough credit coming into the season. Like, you look at all of their players, they're good players at some point in their career. Piggy was good on the Houston Outlaws. Farway has been good in, you know, the APAC region. Same with the fucking, um... Xerneas, right? Like, these guys have been good backliners for the, like, these Chinese teams for a long time, and Choice of One has always been reliable, right? And then when you got Jimmy, like, what, what's, what's, what's the complaint about? Alright, here we go. It's time for Jimmy to awaken, Chad. Yeah, don't lie to me. You know, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't want any more of these lies about Jimmy fucking. I just want to see it happen. Oh! does it again another headshot opening up the fight leave down Langsa? jimmy jimmy got his three there we go there we go jimmy all headshots three headshots one after the other the legendary fornicator <laughs> Avril's been holding on to that one for a while. Legendary Fornicator. Hell yeah. Avril's starting to buy in. He's believing. Oh, the Winston. Oh. Will finally be felled. Good Nano wins to dive on the Gushwe. This is where this is where he realizes this match is about Jimmy. Jimmy's about to take over. Build up towards the EMP, hold their ground as forward as possible. Not give up that first corner. It's a long time to burn through. I mean, it's three minutes out of a total eight for charge. We can still get a lot done here. Spark have definitely struggled on this defense. Nano online. Jimmy is the main character. He's actually the protagonist. Oh, Gushway just gets absolutely melted. Shutting the butt. Honestly, the choice of one piggy dives are kind of nasty. Like, Spark don't really seem to have an answer to this right now. Oh, wow. Nice. There you go. Jimmy he gets his <gasps> or oh, if he gets his kill he's just fucking better that's a crazy uh, value of getting forcing that recall though because now all of a sudden they can't use the emp in this situation uh piggy gets slept though it's not great yeah it was not a great primal by piggy still nanoed him yeah dude the peel honestly that was really well played by spark dude Langsa Monk just played that fucking flawlessly. They just they they just dodged like whoa, they just held against a nano primal tracer Winston dive. Literally just those two. That was very well played by Langsa and Monk. And then Jimmy comes out of nowhere and fucking pings Monk. Perfect pause. Why what happened? Oh no! Shy! No! Oh, Xerneas. Nice bash. Like, Shy just wasn't ready for that. Oh my god. Jimmy gets Shy as well. 
Dude, Zony's kind of pounded right now. Jimmy, I need about three more kills, please. Shy? Headshot! After! Trying to have his Shanghai Dragons moment here. Return the tide to the fight. Oh my god! What is that shot? What the fuck? Oh my god. Well, I gotta go back and look at that again. Return the tide to the fight. Oh my god. God! Shanghai Dragon's moment here. Return the tides of the fight. Ooh, that's a nasty one. He makes it look so easy. He also hits Peggy, Piggy on that entrance as well. So Piggy's also low. Does get healed up. Oh, got his one. Oh, dragon on the card. They can't touch. Oh, Gushway. So Piggy's spamming C9. Oh, the C9's in chat. Way, that was a good dragon, honestly. It forced him off the cart. I don't... I, yeah, I don't think Gushway realized he was the one that had to be on the cart there. Oh, dude, they finished with 102 as well. Like, that's the worst time ever to finish with. If they get under a minute, you're in a much better spot. Piggy's so toxic. He spent enough time with the Houston Outlaws and Jake to be toxic. <laughs> to know how to do the psychological warfare in chat. Gets the shot. The spark front lane double DPS here plus the support, I believe. Speaking of, oh, that's a nice shot. Oh wow, nice play. That was a that was a really clean three K. Jimmy supremacy, we're all here for. Thank you for two uh, years, space stuck. Please let Shy play hit scan. I don't think they like playing hit scan. Not a lot of teams like they can play the Tracer Sombra, and I think the Tracer Sombra is good. I would like to see them play more Shy hit scan though. Shy hit scan is kind of nasty. Oh, dude, good play by Zonius, honestly. I I just think Shy wasn't like running through his brain. He's not attuned to thinking that the Brig Bash can still stun you out of EMP. Xerneas was legitimately one of not the best Briggs that year. Yeah, and then, yeah. Also, I think it's important to note, because this is sort of like a narrative that has been, like, sold, is that Xerneas came out and said that him and, like, Ray don't have a bad relationship of, like, it's literally not that big a deal and people have been pulling it out of proportion. So, for that reason, I won't really be talking about that that much as well. Because, obviously, we only had, like, that little bit of information from 2020. So, it's cool to get clarification on that. Ray? His name is like Ray, but his name is spelled R-U-I, like Rui. Well, I, I don't know exactly how you say it. People usually call him Ray. Um, he's the head coach of the Guangzhou, uh, the Hongzhou Spark and the head coach of Team China. Second time now we've seen Hongzhou Spark play the leave Echo on the offense. It looked okay versus Dallas, not HP and down. I really don't like this Echo Mercy. I, I, I actually have less of a problem with Shy playing the Sombra than this Echo Mercy. I feel like this is just a bad look. Grab that health pack, has to use the recall, still in a bad spot, but looks like he will be able to exit through the hotel. just keeping him honest. Who coaches Guangzhou? Uh, who is the coach of Guangzhou these days? I want to say Ty Dollar and Sung Woo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Piggy overextending just a bit. Leaf has that beam, finds the kill. Piggy down. Trying to deny these sight lines, I believe. That was before Farway had the nanos, or just before. Did the backline play so well together? Ah, that echo beam that was too much. Jimmy, if you're ever gonna fuck, now is the time. Your entire team is dead. Seems like maybe some confidence on the rest of the team to try to contest here, but given the old bank that's being built up here from the side of the Hangzhou Spark. Jimmy said he trash talks with Piggy a lot when they're screaming. Yeah, exactly, right? Looks like they are. Contest comes in. Apparently, Piggy likes to shit talk both his and opposing team in scrims. I think he just likes to hang out. Like, he just wants to have fun and just like. I would say it's not le probably less shit talk and probably more banter, but. Yeah. Not on a on a leave. Oh shit! He, he's purple. Oh, he has the copy though. Oh wow, that was a that was a really good dive. All right, Jimmy hasn't really done much so far on this defense. Jimmy, come on. Hey, you know we 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 saw we saw some flashes of brilliance. Let's focus up. He's talking shit about Pelly in his post game interview. Yeah, yeah. Piggy's always just been out there trying to have fun, right? Rewarded, well rewarded kills for the Hungry Spike leave. 
making most of that nano you don't often see a nano onto an echo especially in this meta where winston dominates but he'll be able to front lane just as you say i mean the 400 hp play through full confidence to just beam it out as well we finally get to see the nano from far into pig but it feels like it comes in so Kasi just stop talking and watch jimmy fuck i've been waiting for it i've been waiting for it we've seen some glimpses of brilliance that 3k was nasty it's had a couple of good shots just could not get past the shy leaf just trying to give spark a chance yeah and it's time to crush them you know the time for chances is over oh nice stick Oh, Zonius down. Good primal. Oh, Monk dead. Links are dead. Jimmy just takes out the team on his own. Wait, where's Jimmy? Jimmy never died. Wait, did Jimmy die? I didn't even notice him die. Yeah, it gets both backliners. He did die. Not in my heart. Another situation where it's a 2v2 instead of a 1v2 at the end because it was what shy gooshway versus only piggy goombed by gooshway yeah that happens mung and links is slightly winnable for the charge you need one more player alive yeah they have all the respawns now and they have the ultimate play through this is where piggy jimmy killed both supports in his team three oh he wants the ana so bad they're doing a good whip by xerneas like that whip stops the pulse bomb attempt onto farway it's been quite good about getting the back lines and getting those sticks but this time not to be Shipped away at joins back in the, on the cart with the rest of the team, but Jimmy oh, finds oh, the Jimmy gets shy down. again. Now, now, he's diving in a little bit deeper, a couple seconds remaining. Piggy's gonna be careful, he's about to get beamed. Oh, that was a little over aggressive by Piggy. He shouldn't have gone in with that last one. Jimmy takes leave out of the sky. Oh, headshot. Oh, he's dead. Oh, good sleep. Dude, the backline of charge is playing really well. Oh my god, is Onis actually gonna live? Oh, good nano. Holy fuck. The backline's goaded. Just to make sure that he does persevere through this fight. Yeah. Alt versus alt trade, so it's a net neutral for both teams. They have for the spark. They can't afford to get staggered deaths. If you don't nano Gushu there, he falls, and the rest of the spark falls with him. And this oh, Jimmy down. No, concede the fight. It's over. I don't want to see anymore. On the Gushway, does manage to have that expire. Pops that primal. Going to be kicking it up here in the back line. Farway anti to finish off, however. No, Farway beamed. Leave is doing a. Yeah, like, I like this Anna Brig Echo. Like, I like the Echo. I don't think the Echo is bad. I just hate the Echo Mercy. Like, I don't like the Mercy paired with it. Like, Echoes can still pound, but you don't need to commit the resource of. Jimmy got his one. Oh, huge nade. Finally gets shut down by Peggy, who gets both of the DPSs. Ultra Spike will be reset. It's an early reset. The payload doesn't quite get past the first corner. The piggy is also not going to be able to push too much further. So just Honestly, I think teams are depending on their backlines more than ever in our history. The best teams have the best backlines, and those are why they're the best teams. Well, they, we're, we're kind of in a meta, and this is why a lot of people love Dive in general. as like, And it's widely considered as one of the best um, metas, is because it's the battle of the frontline versus the backline, right? And you can make choices to invest resources on, in more of one or less, right? Like, you can make your Dive stronger by playing Sombra, Tracer, Winston, right? Or you can make your backline stronger by playing Diva and a Brick, right? So then you're you're at a constant battle of like how many resources do we want to invest? And then you're playing like a micro game inside of a macro strategy, right? So it's your backline versus your frontline. And that's always the most fun. Like as a player and a spectator, I think it creates the most fun kind of environments because your back like this series so far is a great example of that is your backline is essentially fighting for their life at all moments and while also trying to provide as much resources to their frontline, right? So it goes back and forth and then it comes about the ultimate strategy. And that's why I enjoy Anna Brig, even though it can be impressive to tanks. Like, I think it's fun. It's the same reason I really love Brig Zenyatta metas because like Zenyatta is like such an offensive threat that you need to apply pressure. But then there's so much skill expression from the backline when you play Briggs N and stuff like that. So I think this is a pretty good meta. If there was less Sombra, which it looks like we're trending towards, unless you're Atlanta Rain, I think it's good. Why are people trying to run Genji? I don't know. People got to stop trying to run Genji. I hate Genji as a pick. Like, I really don't like Genji as a pick. It has its pop-off moments. We saw that in the... Uh, but we had a Genji mirror, so it doesn't really count. Like, on the... On, like, some on uh, Oasis. But I just think there are much better picks than Genji. I feel like Genji Blade is just incredibly useless in this current meta. And I think in the neutral, there's just better characters. Yeah. Saw the ensuing wet noodle fight there. As Leaf does go in, gets the duplicate. Dives into the back line. As the Winston falls bump from choice of one, however, just by oh, good dragon. Nearly taken out of that dupe by that dragon strike from Jimmy. 
Sugar Free is allowed to play Genji. He gets a pass. It's like Pelican. It's like you get a pass. Pelican, Alpha Yi, and Lenny get passes on the Genji. Everyone else? No. Two minutes now remaining here for the Hangzhou Spark, the Rally, the Nano. Going to be the nearest tools. And now you get to see Shy going. Okay. He's, he, he looked towards the Why is Sugar Free Lenny? Oh. What do you want to play? Hey, why not? Back to the Tracer, back to the Ash. I respect you need some more long range damage here. Leave. Or forego the Echo, which the he, he the is Lenny. Decreasing. Choi gets a pass. Oh, yeah, Choi as well. Go double Winston. Choi. <laughs> Choi. Uh, Decay best Tracer in the world right now? Nah. Still, like, Kev's. You can't watch Kev's to play the game and then say he's. Like, he's definitely up there. He's playing really well, but. Fucking proper and uh, Kev's to still exist in the game. Shy, I mean, still. Watch this shot. Oh, shit. What did I miss? Sorry, I was, I was looking to chat. Whoa. Yeah, Shy did not respect Jimmy there. J yeah, put some respect on this man. Jimmy gets Langser as well. There's two. No, he does not. Choice A1. He wants to get involved. He goes in. He does find Monk. That's the cleanup now. As Shy, I mean, still just go and play musical chairs hero with these roulette. heroes. He's yeah. on hero roulette. Goes for the Widow, go back to the Ash. Can't make up his mind. He's trying to silence the believers. Picking up things, Why? putting them down. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, from spawn, I think Widowmaker is fine, but yeah, I don't know how much ult charge he's lost. Probably not a lot, but at this stage as well, they're just kind of juggling through different picks to move their way forward. Time, by the way, has expired in terms of trying to match. Nano Ash, not in love with it. He's pushing up desperately, trying to find some value. Yeah, he's just frontline ashing. That was a lot of ults by Spark. What was that? Nano rally to get into that fight. Good pulse bomb by Leave on Dezernius. Got G, thank you for the prime sub. Oh, Gushue is fucking. That's a primal blade right there. Dude, if 20 plays off tanks, like, to the level that he needs to and, like, he did before he retired, and Gushue is just able to play the Winston, Hongshui have a good team. Like, it, it's not as flawed as people were worried about of, like, Gushue maybe not as flexible as we wanted. If he's able to play these other characters and then we get uh, 20 being able to play at that level, it's... It's a good look. Ten seconds. Oh my god, Jimmy. Jimmy, that was a little bit of overconfidence from Jimmy. Jimmy's just walking through the middle of the point. That was, that was a vintage Jimmy play. <laughs> Spawn Dragon. Jimmy on the Widowmaker. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Headshot. Oh, that was a nice shot on the shy. That was a nice shot on the shy. Seemingly looking for absolute perfection here in the 2023 season will successfully Here's him. Chat more at the end of King's Row to move up. Jimmy's having a good game, okay? But I, I haven't I haven't seen the pure fuckery that I was I was anticipating. I I I wanna see more. I wanna see his power. Wait, map three. Just wait. Map three, he found. Now nah, that's cat. He's playing well. Hey, don't get me wrong. He's had a couple of big things. He's been getting big picks. How many final boys do you think he ended up with there? Like 10, 11? It was a good performance. Great Hanzo performance. Definitely a difference maker in that map. Hey. It's, hey, you guys keep saying it's coming. We're going to map three. He's got one more map. I want to have a Lee J. Gone experience when I watch him. Oh, wait. Here's the difference right now. This this is choice of him, more like it, right? Look at this. Five deaths, 14 final blows, 32 eliminations. Beating that fraud leave. Damn. Leave play mostly echo. Yeah, I guess that's true. But like this is, I, I guess that's true. I didn't even think about that. They didn't do a per 10. I was hoping it'd be a per 10. Yeah, that's true. That's disingenuous. It's fine. Man, I think it really it's not average per 10. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. Uh, regarding their performance so far in the first two maps. Because, I mean, again, it, it has been very, very close. They have been pushing charge and getting so wobble, wobble, very near. Hi, Havana. I like to call this Jimmy's Playground. Nogrim, thank you for the prime sub. But 
It's got to be the high dive, and I kind of respect that. All right, Jimmy's starting on the Hanzo again. They got to, okay, they got to play super far forward, but I dare say this is not the type of comp that you want to be spawn camping with. Yeah, it's an interesting decision to say the least. We'll see how it fares for them, though. It's both teams playing Winston on this map is so interesting, dude. APAC is just like, we refuse to play Brawl. We refuse to recognize Ramatra as a viable hero. Jimmy, no! Well, of course, I have that spot advantage, though. Let's see if they decide to make any alterations. It's a choice they want halfway to the pulse. Jimmy barely gets to play. There's not a lot of good changes you can make, and even in 6v6 Overwatch 1, Anzo out the gate to break the spawn camp is pretty ideal. I wish my ranked games would also do that, yeah. Oh, good damage. Lengs are on one. If Lengs falls, or if anyone as far falls, the spawn hold is done. Oh, Lengs are down. Dude, Jimmy's been murdering Lengs in this series so far. Like, Lengs at any time he drops a shield just dies. Oh, he's hit, caught at the Ana. Oh, oh! Oh! Okay, Jimmy! Yo, yeah, well, Jimmy knows he's fucking. Look at his camera. He knows so what he's like doing. Today. So sharp, and even, it's I, not just today. It's not been... the word I would use. I'd say it's buttery smooth. <laughs> but yeah, it depends on what taste profile you like, what kind of uh, consistency and flavors. And he said he won. Hey, that was some fucking. That was some fucking. He's he just won that team fight for his team. Man on to piggy. Playing forward, he's on him back with the use of this nano. Gonna hack drops down. I mean, it has the problem, but I really wouldn't use it here in this scenario. He's really out of position, but he's not gonna get chased here, so he should be able to rejoin about now. Shy gets piggy. That's an early death. Uh, okay, he just died. Oh, good sleep. We'll take a nap. Obviously, not too much risk. Oh my God, Gushway just took a bajillion damage even through Nano. Oh no! That was good play by Gushway. one of his own. Manages to find him. Shy gonna clean up Zernius. Far away, falling. I haven't no, I have not seen this match. I have I haven't watched it in, in its entirety. So I don't really know when the fucking happens or how the win happens. Yeah, Gushway knocked him into it. Yeah, that was a good primal. Because Piggy, as I mentioned, he went super deep out of position. He went into B looking for health backs and all that. And of course Spark know he's in there. I've got to chase him. But as soon as Piggy shows up again, Alright, EMP walking into it. Gotta be careful. So with the 5v4 tank down, Spark kinda had that one in the bag, but still spent three ultimates. Oh, choice one down. EMP. Yo, Jimmy, trade back for me. Just give me, give me a trade. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy's just like, where the fuck are they? Oh, Jimmy, help! Heels, he heels. Hey, hey, no, you so no heels. Okay. Damn, dude. Farway and Zerni is just preying on Jimmy's downfall right now. Oh, not a great primal. No help. It literally. All resources spent there. Well, obviously, minus a nano just to keep Piggy up. Probably need to put some more. Bro, he's looking like LeBron out here. Deaths in the lobby currently at three. It's not a huge amount, but it's too much for the charge. He's being hard focused by the spark. Good damage. Oh, nice. He got the recall off. Jimmy, it's time to start fucking. Well, otherwise, we're going to get full held here. Oh, wait, excuse me? How did he kill Leave in that? Can he find more? Hold. Leave, however, going to be thinking. Wait, just keeping him energized. 30 seconds now remaining. This hung just spark. Look for the full hold. Leave, however, going to be thinking out. Jimmy just does what he does best. Finds that headshot. What? How did he? I didn't even know where the tracer was. Get across the line and. And Monk? Oh yeah, Jimmy. That's the that's the good stuff, Jimmy. We let's go. Two team fights won by Jimmy. Jimothy has is carrying this Guangzhou charge team to success. Monk not having a fun day. Dude, Monk is having that support game where their Hanzo just doesn't fucking miss. And it is the most infuriating thing about playing against anything ever. At least Widowmaker, like it's hit scan. Getting hit by arrows constantly is just wild. Left on the bench that saved for this B fight. To be fair though, for Spark, the silver lining is a lot of time went off. New banger charge tweet. Three man EMP, but you have to translate code out. Oh, nice grab by Xerneas and drop. The shield of Xerneas, so kills not found. HP bars low and Leaf cleaned up. Choice one finds him. Shy oh, Shy? Hello? Well, how did Shy not get healed? 
We got two supports just surrounding him. Oh, they're in such a bad spot. They're so dead. Oh yeah, Gushway Primal. That's that ain't good. Toys on three, by the way. Looking for number four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it checks out, checks out, checks out. And he'll get out just in time. Still saves about 150 HP for the supports to heal up. Maybe give that Lynx a rally a go. Do you think charge rain would be close? I don't think so. I think charge still are a bit away from rain, but I, I think... I think they're the best in the East, for sure. Heels? Yeah, heels! Oh, I've seen this clip before. This is the clip we've all seen. Dude, what is that shot? On to eye. Oh, we gotta watch that again. Bro, look, look at this. Look at Jimmy fuck. Like, we're, we're in full force right now. Good support. Kills Gooshway. Just fucking murders Shy. Himmy. Oh my god. They tried. They, they knew who to go for. They knew who they had to stop, and it just wasn't enough. I think you give Jimmy play the match regardless of whether Charge want to lose at the moment. It's just too much, man. This is far too much. He's heavily under pressure. And I said previously, Charge got to keep him alive, so they're just going to nano Jimmy now. Why not? It works. Deserves the nano. Hey, if he's going to kill everybody, you give him the nano. Ooh. Shy has the... Shy tries to mirror the Hanzo. <laughs> oh, Shy. Sweet summer child. Let lose Shy dropping down. Crawls back up onto the high ground. Twisted one hovering around the back, and Shy will be able to go ahead and find two kills. Good, a damn good impression here of Jimmy. Quick yeah, that's pretty mid through compared through to Jimmy, board. honestly. Dive down, and it's be Monk who actually snipes Am I right, chat? Again, <laughs> that was that was lucky. That was just lucky. Locking it in place, just trying to drain things down a minute and a half an hour remaining. Shy trying to do the Hisu cosplay, whatever Jimmy wants. Virgin Shy 2K versus Chad Jimmy 4K. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah, we'll watch it again. I'll watch it again. Oh, bing. Bang. <coughs> Boom. Pow. Bop. We've standing still then. But meanwhile, we'll go back to live. Well, Shy's here, Paul. He kind of plays everything. Whoa, Jimmy went Widow? Preferably at the end of the map because... Well, okay, they won. Nice. Jimmy? Widowmaker. We'll just assume Jimmy killed five. If we didn't see it happen, Jimmy killed five. I'm sure we are, we're pogging out of control. It's fine. The Jimmy Maker. <laughs> Not great synergy by the team. They nanoed and primaled. Around, that's a pretty good so juggle. That's a pretty good juggle from Piggy, honestly. Oh, and he got out. Well, oh, 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 yeah. That was not great. Wow, well played by Gushway. All right, Jimmy, I need you to get some kills. I mean, it's a brilliant Is that a primal bad? You don't really want to layer them both together. <laughs> the problem with layering them both together is that you don't get the great value from the nano that gives you the survivability because you already have survivability from the primal. So you'd rather nano in or nano out. No, it was Shanghai and Dallas. They both played respectively on Havana. We never got to see a seed. Those both ended on beat. But I think this is such good distance for the charge that okay. might not also Nano can help farm primal. Yeah, there's like it's just not very good to do both at the same time. Oh, Jimmy killed Shy. Jimmy killed two. Honestly, maybe Jimmy kind of fucked. Primal does less damage than Tesla Cannon. Yeah, it, it, you're usually not going to get as much damage out. All right, here we go. Zen Brig, Hanzo. Wow, that is greedy by the charge. And they're going to play Sombra Genji. Good luck. Oh, actually, Lee went Widow, seeing that Jimmy's on the Hanzo. 
Okay, Ta another name for... Oh, never mind. Wait, okay, never mind. All right, never mind. I think they saw that they were playing Zenyatta and were like, whoa, okay, we're going to play something different. Is Gushri going to go... Something different? He sort of... Zen is far away his best hero. Yeah, it's just very difficult to play Zen versus, like, the Tracer Winston Sombra, right? He's really going to have to rely on Piggy for the peel. Jump they get, yeah, they get yeah, getting Jimmy with that biotic was such a problem. Nice focus fire here from the side of the Hangzhou Spark. That's exactly what they need to kick this map off. The right foot forward. Jimmy just trying to save Kushway. Wow, that's good damage. That. I'm like, no, be gone. Looks like Kushway, not that dissuaded though. Well, speaking of be gone, Jimmy, it's time for a headshot, please. One headshot. Come on, on up. Thank you very much. Jimmy got his one. Dude, down. Leave Leave has been having a bad day on the tracer versus Jimmy. Respawn still gonna be favoring the spark in that regard. It's choice they want. It's trying to find an extra pick. Jimmy delivers. Asking you shall receive. The timing of the force back there as well, because if the spark get to fight any longer, they get to nano gushway and things start to get a lot better for the spark in that situation. Spy check on the shy, so he's got to translocate and go. You're Jimmy Don? Well, I don't like that. <laughs> And that slowdown is important because it allows Farway to build the transcendence and he's going to get it for the next fight. So as the nano comes on through, maybe the EMP as well, you are going to see the trance. Oh, nice dink. Oh, nice whip by Xerneas. Now you have to save Jimmy though. I actually really like Jimmy's Sonics. He like throws them on like flanks and plays these... Oh, wow. Good stick by Choi. Further delaying that rally and making them that much more exposed. HP bars going lower and lower. Oh my god, off. Choi's been great. Yeah, Choi is just running rings around the spark right now. Honestly, Shy and Leave have not had a good game. Like, obviously they've been solid and they've had their moments, but like, for the standard we hold them to, Shy and Leave haven't had a great game. And honestly, that is probably to the the strength of Xerneas doing such a good job of like slowing everyone down. Jimmy just pounding them every day, every time they sort of peek their head, but. Slow down and resetting. And when I say resetting, I don't mean going back to base, but just kind of restaging their next fight. It's Toy that gets in the back line. He takes out both supports with a stick and just the pulse pistols alone. Now charge is just sitting on everything. Look how many ults charge had. Okay, they're looking for oh, so no heals. I feel like the backline that this was one of the classic examples of the fear of the EMP is sometimes better than the EMP itself. Like they were so spread out because they were afraid that the EMP was going to come, and to the point that they just killed them without using the EMP. Left to go. Dude, are they, they're committing to this? I guess they forced the EMP. Jimmy. No, nah, that, was, that was an ambitious attempt by the charge to try and save that with the dragon and the bomb. He was, he was pulsed. He was pulsed and stuck and he should have trance. He was not, he was not hacked. The check. The hack went on to Piggy. Chai did not use EMP. I think it was the right call to not use the transcendence there. Like, they had already lost both their DPS. But I guess if you're going to do that, then you shouldn't have also used the Rally, the Diva Bomb, and the Dragon, right? And charge on the back foot, forced to... No, that was actually during the um, retake attempt as well. So a huge loss there for the charge, but what otherwise could have been a pretty holdable position. Similar time, though, i got to say, both teams were held up until OT on A, so we're working with the same time. Good eight. Monk not gonna get the shot across, but Piggy just kind of getting juggled out here into the open. As they pile in, trying to break him out of this mech once more. He does finally manage to break away. Separates himself, but Cernius gets left out to dry, and Kushway scoops the kill. Oh, 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 be good to go ahead and get this cap on B. Oh, Bahami, David, the 16 months. Just gonna run away. Where would you put charge in the NA tier list? I'd probably put them at like the bottom of the top tier of NA. Like I'd put them, I'd probably put them below Houston. I, I'd, if I was putting them anywhere right now, I would put them pretty equivalent to where I put the gladiators. That's kind of where, that's where I think they'd, they'd probably find out. I don't think they can compete with Atlanta and stuff like that. Yeah, like four or five-ish. 
fighting chance until that EMP. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I, they need to get off of the Zenyatta. The Zen, they just don't have enough healing. They're just bleeding out. They don't have positioning, so it's like kind of hard to do anything. Jimmy does get Gooshway, which might slow things down, though. They have to back away. Trying to finish off the EMP, though. Yeah, Fargo goes over to the Ana. Okay, yeah, Rally is rolling. EMP goes through. Oh, good EMP. Instantly dealt with. That Rally canceled, shut down, everything. No value to be found there. Jimmy now needs to do what he do, does best if they want to pull off this whole thing. Nope, he's no going to be broken out of the mech now. They don't have that covering fire choice. They want to hound it down. Lee finds the kill. Maybe even finished off and that's going to be the cap coming through. Two minutes and 14 Then seconds. he plays Zen. Yeah, like you saw, the Zen Yada worked really good on the first point. But the problem that happens is like as soon as you get past that first point, like the, you don't have sight lines, you don't have the healing. It just trickles away from you. Like I think it was just really greedy to stay on the Zen Yada for that long. And I think they did because they had the transcendence, but it's kind of a bait. And that's why you see as much as the Zenyatta is good on part of points and like that type of style, it's just so greedy that it can like cause you to lose further fights as Xerneas is now going to the Zenyatta. I don't hate the Yana Zenyatta. Like I'd prefer the Yana Zenyatta than the Zenyatta Brig personally. And you just play fucking super greedy, super far away and just force them to execute good dives. This could go terribly for them though. Oh wow. Look at stuck. Sony is dead. Ooh, yeah, this is not looking good right now for charge. Fortunately, the card is just past the choke, so they should be able to hold. Back and again, thinking going to be broken under the mech. Ops have to go for the self destruct this time. I think definitely a wiser play. They have a little bit more room to work. I respect that Piggy sacrifices mech there just to get the delay of the payload because his team was losing. If he delays payload, the Jassity? More fights here. So that's exactly what's happening, charge. Oh, Jimmy? I think one more. They can win this, it'll be more than that. As you mentioned, Jimmy makes a swap happen. Under pressure though, deleted. Yeah, I mean, rolls in, tries to get that magnet across. Trust it, yo, I don't know, Chad. The Jassity didn't really find value there. It also didn't get healing again, you know, just... Am I... They, the Nano and the Baby Diva to keep them alive? I actually don't hate it because they need the Diva to re -mech. I don't hate it. Like, it's not bad. Like if he d if if so the diva dies charge. there, then like this fight could have fallen away from them. That was so good. That means that the charge do not forfeit that fight, and now we are He's into swapping. what is officially the last fight. Twenty seconds remaining. The Junker Queen. The Junker Queen trying to do his best harm, but impression. Maybe it'll work. It is versus Winston, but there's rally, there's pulse, there's EMP, there's. Why? Like, okay, I understand. It might pop off. It might... I understand what it pop off. But I'm trying to understand in my brain of brains why Junker Queen is better than Diva here. This is peak Overwatch. Sustain. I feel like Diva just lives better through Sustain. Like, Queen is good if you get everything rolling and you have your ultimate. But, all right, we'll, we'll go. We've seen Queen be good against Winston. I just don't know if it's good for a last fight swap is my point. Like, for the last final moments, is Queen really worth it over the Diva? Because they made it... That was an active choice, right? To go back to spawn and switch to the Queen. So the way, it could work, yeah, right? Like, it could do a ton of damage. Oh, wow. They solo MP choice of one. MP gets stuck. What do you mean, trust, chat? He fucking died. Jimmy kills Monk, though, because Jimmy is a fucking chat and leave? Can he do it now here on the Cassidy? Oh, the high noon! He's right here on the cart. Oh, he smart to away. pop it early. Oh, he headshot him. Oh my, Jimmy! Let's fucking go, Jimmy pop off. Look at this Jimmy pop off. Jimmy pop off. Let's go! Jimmy actually fucking pounded it at the end there. Yay, Jimmy! Jimmy! Look at him go. Oh, yeah! I'm always so happy. Yeah! That's best man material right there. Look at him. Aw. He's so happy. Oh, I'm far away. <laughs> Me too. Me, me too, Jimmy. Thank you. Everyone say thank you to Jimmy. Everyone say thank you to Jimmy for blessing our screens and our eyeballs with, with top tier Overwatch. The defense once again for the charge after them being two down. They lost choice right away.
Now it is. Jimothy. I genuinely think, obviously, I think everyone played really well on the charge there, but Jimmy actually won some fights for them. Like, multiple fights throughout the entirety of the series, he actually won. Like, he wasn't just, like, the entire time just blind fucking. But he did. He had some important levels of fucking. And that's... And that's what matters. And that's what matters. The Guangzhou charge win the Zhou down and beat the Hongzhou Spark to put themselves at the number one spot in the APAC region. Jimmy did some fucking. Obviously, Piggy had a great game on the Winston. I think a lot of people are starting to believe in the Pigston a little bit, but also the other things that he's able to play. Xerneas and Farway had a great series in the back line as well. Like, it is hard to deflect Leave Shy Gushway from just running into your back line, and they did a great job of that. So, and, you know, choice of one, the Swiss Army Knife, as I've already said multiple times. So... Charge are a team to be excited about. What is the peak of this team becomes the question of like, can a team like the Charge realistically compete with the, the roster of the likes of the Atlanta Reign? We don't know. Like, and we probably won't know until the midseason madness. If, if Charge keep it up, they should easily qualify for the midseason madness. And we'll find out those answers later. Watch the highlight at the end. There's a, there's a highlight at the end. Oh yeah, let's watch the Jimmy highlights. That's true. Because Jimmy gets play of the game, of course. Atomic and technological development zone. <laughs> well, I, I mean, yeah, of course. There, there, was, there was really no doubts. As Jimmy is our player. Lip is a fraud match. compared to Jimmy. That's what I'm saying. Just continues to pound at every twist. Oh, this is the leave kill. Oh, I mean, man. You know, like, literally, that. Like, Shy and Leave had to give him so much respect because he kept doing this. Changed over to, he was getting value. The Cassidy, the cowboy like how many times did he just kill shy leave I mean, or like log monk from across the map like it just happens so much i just don't i just don't do it and he doesn't have to he continues to get away with the hanzo and he hits like oh yeah, yeah. Just, why would you nasty why would you need to swap yeah he played so much hanzo but i actually i genuinely really like the hanzo in this matter right now I think Hanzo is like the most versatile pick and it has the opportunity to do stuff like this if you have a good enough Hanzo player right just do it Tell him that Jimmy procreated again. It's happened once more. What a shot in the shine. That there he is. is. As he's Just disgusting stuff. I mean, this is, and it's consistent. Every oh, yeah. Map. Yeah, he, that, that is a good point by Admiral. Like, multiple times throughout each map. Oh, this is the, oh my God. Multiple times during both maps when he needed to pop off, he did, right? Like, if he ever got the space to just shoot at people, he hit it. And that's what you need, right? Like, you're not always just going to hit everything all the time with no space. Dude. Yeah, he actually he actually went crazy. When you put it in a highlight compilation, you really see the fucking Like, you see him fornicate multiple times. I want to see his Cassidy play. Please tell me they have this. Yeah. Oh, my God. What? Thank you very much for money. Flashbang. It made it feel like a dream for a second there. Not needed. Forces shy to go ahead and retreat. Finishes off the rest of the kills there. And it was just... Oh, there it is. And, like, I feel like you if you look at this stat screen, you go, oh, it's not that good. But I feel like the final blows and the impact of the final blows was the thing that matters more. Like, he did die a lot. And, like, oh, I highlighted that through it. Like, he had a lot of pressure from shy from Leave, from Gushui coming onto him. But he hit, like, some important plays. And great. I mean, crits per 10, yeah. 13.7 crits per 10 is kind of nuts. I gotta say, this was still... Such an entertaining series. Hangzhou Spark, they definitely did fight. For All right, them. chat. That is the story of Jimmy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The story is not written. It is not finished. We still have a whole season of Jimmy fucking to go. We'll keep our, our fingers on the pulse every time Jimmy does it. But always remember that Jimmy will beat these frauds in the Overwatch League. Proper who, lip who, Jimmy and the Guangzhou Charger coming. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if I got demonetized and uh, I, I, your children are listening to this, but sometimes you got to say it. Jimmy does fuck. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.